welcome to this month's studio vlog. So this one is gonna be another busy month. Um, I want to completely redo my website. I'm moving from Squarespace over to Shopify. So today I've actually been taking photos of my new products. Um, before Christmas I had a load of new things come in um, and I just didn't have the time to put them up onto my website. Um, I did bring them to markets and actually quite a few of them sold really well. Now I'm redoing the shop, I think this is the perfect time to get a shop update ready. So I'm hoping to launch it by the end of February but obviously as I'm redoing the whole website it may be a little bit later than that. Um, I'm hoping it won't be but I guess we'll just see how everything goes um, for the moment. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is just finishing editing those photos and then maybe doing a little bit of work on the new website. My website is going very smoothly. I'm very happy with how it's looking so far. It took a while for me to sort out how I wanted to categorize all my products, but I think I have figured that out and I'm really happy with how the design looks too. At the moment, I'm just going through all my products, correcting things, making any little changes and making sure everything is tagged properly so it will show up in the right place on my website. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the month, it will be ready to be launched. Um, alongside some new products too. I was also very, very kindly gifted a label printer by Munbin. It's great for creating shipping labels for my orders and also for creating round thank you stickers um, that I stick on all my orders. Um, I haven't actually given it a go yet, so I'm hoping to give it a go later on in this video. Um, but we're just gonna unbox it and I'll show you everything I've received with it. So um, they have sent me two different types of labels. In here are the shipping labels, and these are the round labels, which I'm going to design later on in this video. I chose to go for pink, obviously, because everything in Polygon is branded pink. Um, these are just plain white labels, um, you know, just square rec rectangle labels. Um, so they will go very nicely when I have some orders through in my new shop. This uh, label maker uh, is also in pink, which I am really, really happy about, um, just because I think that's a bit of fun, you know, it's more exciting than going for plain white. So let's get it open. Inside we've just got the power cords. Um, and some instructions and bits and pieces but we'll look into that later because I'm not going to be using it today yeah this is what it looks like I think it's really cute and I love this pink it's definitely a polygon kind of shade of pink so if you receive any orders from me from now on they will be printed out with this label maker I'm excited to give it a go and get it working so for now I'm actually going to be making some Animal Crossing badges. I've got an order through for some custom badges that I haven't made before so I thought why not just make a whole new document and create a bunch of badges of some Animal Crossing characters I haven't already made um, and then top up the characters I've already got just so I'll get it all out of the way and so I'll be ready for my next convention and it'll just be one less thing for me to worry about and then I can also give this a go when I print out my labels. Um, so, I guess we'll get started with making the badges and then on to packing this order.
if she could see her building Try to tell her I know I feel it Keep me flowing when I'm on my path Slow me down when I'm living fast Last year I designed these stickers, um, these were also put on my parcels and I still really really like how they look so I'm actually going to take these designs and adapt them um, to be used with the label printer. As it's a thermal printer everything will have to be black, um, you know there's no point in there being any colour so I'm going to have to remove um, some of the yellow bits that you can see in these illustrations but I think they will work really well and they will look really good on these stickers. So these stickers are actually a lot bigger than the ones I was previously using and I think these are going to be a great size. I feel like printing onto these will be a lot easier than my old way of doing it which was just printing it onto round shaped sticker paper. Um, I could never really set the file up properly and get the um, designs to line up very well with the actual um, circles so that was always a little bit of disaster. So I'm going to stick with the same three designs again, um, I'm going to see if I can print alternative um, stickers, I'm not sure if that will be possible but we're going to give it a go anyway. Um, so let's get this file all sorted and set up. <laughs> wow okay so I don't know if you just saw that but that came out super quickly I literally just pressed the button and everything came out at once so I am super happy with this it's really really fast you can print loads of stickers so quickly and I would definitely definitely recommend it look how great that looks I'm so happy with that wow <laughs> So I'm going to print a few more of these labels and then I'll print my actual packing label and then I'll give you my full review on it. So I didn't really get the chance to talk about how well the printer printed the label. It came out super quick, just as fast as the stickers did. Um, it took me a little bit of time to get the formatting correct on the computer, but you know, that probably took me maybe five, ten minutes max. Really it's super easy to set up though um, and I don't have to do anything else in the future. I just need to select the paper size on my computer and then it'll print it correctly. I think I only ruined one label in the process of try trying it out so I would say that's a pretty good job well done. Um, I'm very happy with it and I will definitely buy more stickers when my current labels will run out and I really recommend if you want to grab their printer. 
Um, I'm going to put a link down below in the description if you want to go and get one of your own. Today I'm going to continue making Animal Crossing badges. I'm just going to make as many as I possibly can. I don't really keep track of each individual character, so I actually need to go through, work out what I've got, work out what I need more of, get them printed, cut out, and then pressed with the badge machine. <laughs> She said to pick her up, but that's a bad call. Time me. I don't want to regret it when it goes wrong. Yeah, well, she's in my car, but she's out of my league. Only in my arms, temporarily. She looks pretty when she grits her teeth. Cause her boyfriend sucks and she knows he cheats. Cries on my shoulder, but She grits her teeth Cause her boyfriend sucks And she knows he cheats Cries on my shoulder But I can't see why She's not with me She looks funny When she bites her tongue Cause she likes my lips But she won't be alone She said just friends And I can't see why She's not with me What if I only like her Because she's out of my So today I've really decided that I want to concentrate on getting my shop set up and sorted before the end of the month. It's currently the 16th of February so I really don't have that long to go and I hope to get it finished within the next 10 days or so. Um, well, that's what I'm aiming for anyway. Um, so I've actually got to go through and count all my products. I need to do a stock take. I really don't know how much I've got of each product. Um, and I also need to go through and decide what products I want to put on sale. There's a lot of stuff that I want to get rid of, like old postcard prints. Um, I've got stacks of boxes of other prints, which I need to get rid of. I've got so many of them. It's when I first started out and I had no idea how much to order. Um, and one of the websites I bought them from, you could order 20 prints the same price as you could buy 200. So I ordered 200 of them. Um, so I have a lot of things that I need to go through and just reduce the price off drastically and just get rid of. I will also be doing the same for the Horsham shop. I've actually lowered some of the prices of the products I already sold in there, but I never put a sale sticker on them. So I've ordered some stickers to put onto my products so people know at markets and at the pop-up shop um, what items are discounted um, and what the original price is, which hopefully um, will encourage more people to buy them. Um, I don't know if it'll work, but I may as well give it a go. So today I'm probably just going to go through and make a list and count everything. It's going to take me forever and it's probably going to take me a day or two to do anyway. Um, but at least I'll have an idea um, of what I've got, what I need to restock, what I need to buy more of, what I need to order, all those kinds of things. So I'll be ready for my next conventions, which will hopefully be Comic Con. If not, it will be Hyper Japan. So I thought I'd actually walk you through my new website a little bit. It's not live yet, but hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it will be. So I've got both websites side to side so we can kind of go through it. So this is my old website here. This one was made on Squarespace and I am happy with how it looks. It just isn't suited for me anymore and this is the front page of the new one which is going to be on Shopify um, I've not filled in all the information yet um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this banner here but you kind of get an idea of the products I sell um, there's some featured products I need to play around with what's going to be on here 
Um, and down here there's some more boxes which there'll be like individual product collections in them. So onto the actual shop. So up here at the top we've got the shop with the drop down list. And then we've got new in and sale just to make them stand out to more people. I've also got an about me section and a portfolio and a free to ask questions page but I am yet to fill them in too. So we're going to go into the shop. Um, you can see we've got the drop down lists for all the different products and then if you click these arrows here we've got more drop down options as well so I think that's just been a really good way of keeping everything organised but we're just going to click shop all and then you can see all my products so I've started going through these individually and tagging them but this is taking me a long long time uh, I'm getting there slowly but not everything is tagged yet but you can press this drop down list here and you can see different products there from this list too which I think is just a really really good way of keeping everything organised now I don't have the option to do this on Squarespace which is the main reason I switched over to Shopify so yeah you can kind of just see everything here we've got this individual tags but I kind of ended up having to group everything up because I just end up with a really really long list. But I think it's just a lot harder to find products on here. There's no search bar or anything like that. Yeah, my, my Shopify website has a search bar. This, this site doesn't, so it's just really hard to find the products you want. There's thousands of products on each page and it's just not like organized as well as it could be. So I'm really hoping that these changes will make it easier for my customers to find products and hopefully, you know, encourage them to spend more money as they'll be able to find what they want quicker and easier. Everything's laid out just so much nicer and it's a lot more convenient than what it used to be. So I guess now I'm kind of gonna go through and count absolutely everything. It's gonna take me forever <laughs> but um i feel like i really do need to do it i'm gonna get an excel spreadsheet up with all my products listed um i kind of just go down there and add everything as needed then we can figure out what i need to restock and make This is taking forever and I'm not even anywhere near halfway through and I've probably been at it for like five hours or so. I've at least, I've got all the prints and things done, um, but I'm now onto the pins and I've got a lot of pins which are like scattered everywhere so I need to find them. But hopefully, hopefully this will be worth it um, and it will help me keep track of all my products better and hopefully I won't order too much in the future. I'm actually really really close to getting the website finished. I'm hoping that I'll have it done today um, I've gone through every single item put them in their different categories tagged them sorted everything like that out I do need to go through and check my custom-made items So my cactus bears or cactus friends and then my clay pins and key rings and some earrings too Just to double check that I haven't sold any of the designs. I'm currently offering my website I'll also be uploading the new products that I will be adding to to this shop update. It's currently Wednesday um, and at the moment I'm hoping that I'll be able to launch it on Friday. I haven't officially announced anything yet. However, that is the plan um, as long as I manage to get everything done in time. I won't be announcing the new shop until this evening as long as everything does go to plan. 
Um, and I will also be making a TikTok slash Instagram reel showing off all the new products. That might take a while to get ready as well, but hopefully I'll be able to get that done um, tomorrow or on Friday morning um, before I do the launch. I've just filmed a little video using this setup um, and hopefully that will look really nice for Instagram and TikTok. Once I've done that, all I need to do is set up my portfolio and add a frequently asked questions page. I've actually already written it out. I'm just gonna take what I've put on my old website and con convert it for my new one. So that won't take me that long to set up. And then yeah, I think we will be ready to launch on Friday, which is really, really exciting. There's a few little bits and pieces I'll need to do behind the scenes on the day, such as changing over my domains, um, but that should be a pretty straightforward process um, and I can do that on Friday morning. So yeah, I'm gonna get these last bits done and I guess I'll talk to you soon. Today is the day I am launching my new shop and the new products. Last night I made some cute graphics on Canva to put my Instagram and hopefully this will be a good way to advertise the new shop and the shop update. So now I just need to switch the domains around. I need to move my domain from my old website to the new one and then I need to remove the password. There's a few extra bits and pieces I need to do like setting up um, Instagram and Facebook shop but that is something I'll have to do once the shop is live. Um, so we're pretty much ready to go and ready to get this shop out. So I guess I will see you guys when the shop's live. So my website is now live. You can go and check it out if you want to. The link is down below in the description or I've put it on screen here if you wanna go and have a look at it. I'm really happy with how my website came out and I hope you guys like it too. If you have any feedback on it, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. If you'd like to get one of your own Munbin printer, I've also put the link down below in the description for that. I'd really recommend it. It's a great little printer and perfect for anybody who has their own little small business like me. So you should definitely go and check that out too. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new here. I want to be notified for when I next upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.